A few weeks ago, I opened up a video with a quote from Goethe, the German philosopher. A quote about commitment. Goethe said that when one definitely commits oneself, then providence moves too. All sorts of things occur to help one that would never otherwise have occurred. A whole stream of events issue from the decision raising to one's favor all manner of unforeseen incidences and meetings and material assistance which no one could ever have dreamed would have come his way. And I began talking about how I have applied certain ways of living in my life over the years that have been very successful to me, and that's one of them. And in this video, I'm going to give you a very down-to-earth example of how uh, Goethe's quote, Goethe's wisdom, became true in my life. When I was 27 years old, I decided I wanted to become a New York City fireman. Now, in order to get that job, I had to take a very competitive physical test. And I was not an athlete. I mean, I was skinny. I wasn't in terrible shape. I wasn't in bad shape. But I was by no means an athlete. So I started working out to take that test. And I spent, oh, I guess about 11 months preparing for that test. And, and uh, by the time I took the test, I was in great shape. I had also given up drinking alcohol, smoking pot, smoking cigarettes, all of these bad habits that I never went back to. I felt so good as a result of this effort to become a fireman that I maintain that lifestyle. It's also good to be in top physical condition if you want to enjoy the job of a New York City firefighter because it's demanding. And I did just that. I made physical fitness uh, an integral part of my life. Along with physical fitness comes a mental acuity that uh, that is present for me anyway as a result of my level of physical fitness they kind of go hand in hand so along comes 2020 all these many years later and i have maintained that level of physical fitness first when i was younger running swimming cycling karate weightlifting things like that as I got older, I got into uh, Bikram yoga, which is a very demanding 90-minute yoga class done in a hot room, and I became a teacher, and I was in that business, and I had a small studio here in Bangkok, which I had to close in 2020. And I got lazy. I got lazy and fat. It was very easy to do. I had this yoga studio that I converted into like a small apartment, and I pretty much stayed here sequestered. I was the old guy. I wanted to stay safe from that terrible virus disease floating around the world, and it was killing people, especially old guys. So I did. I, 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 you know, kept myself safe here, and Boa Cow, my girlfriend, and her family took really good care of me. And uh, this is here's a picture of how she actually showed up like this one day <laughs> to give me like bread's brunch that she just took toast and apples, but uh, and coffee. But she would show up like this. I mean, don't ever doubt that. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe you can doubt. But let's just talk about what I know. Miss Boa Cow would love for me to get fat, fat and happy take me out of that uh, that marketplace so to speak <laughs> so, but hey you know i also made a video about responsibility it's my responsibility to take care of myself to uh, to stay fit and um, so after i don't know i guess about 12 months of not exercising enough and eating too much i put on 20 pounds i was getting out of shape and it really had a negative impact on my life and, and my way of, of living it wasn't compatible with the way I wanted to live my life. So I, I said, that's it. I'm going back to my uh, self-discipline and workout style of life. And every time I started doing my yoga, I'd do one or two classes, two or three days in a row, and my back would go out. I'd get back spasms, and I'd have to rest for maybe a week before the spasm went away. That's not a way, that's not a good workout plan. You know, three days on, seven days off, especially when you're older. Your body wants to get old when you're older. And uh, so, you know, a regular workout is, is becomes even more important, and I couldn't do it. I, I kept injuring myself. I even tried other styles of, of exercise, and I kept hurting my back. Along comes December, December of, uh, of 22, this past December, and uh, I was taking another one of my frequent trips back to New York to see my family there. And uh, I, sp I spent, I think, three or four weeks in New York around Christmas and, and New Year's, and then I traveled across the country to California on an Amtrak 
trip, and by the time I got to Emeryville, California, which is near San Francisco, I had uh, had a gout outbreak. I'm predisposed to gout. I wasn't eating carefully, and I had an outbreak, and I could barely walk. Uh, I, I, you know, the rest of my plan after traveling across the United States was to fly to Manila. Uh, from San Francisco and then to, to, to LA and then to Manila. So well, by the time I got to LA, I had to use a wheelchair to get through the airport. And when they wheeled me to the, uh, to, to the Hilton van that took me to the LAX Hilton, uh, and I got off that, limping off that van, hardly able to walk, the, uh, the concierge there says, whoa, whoa, wait, he got, he got me a wheelchair too. I mean, it was in that bad shape that the Hilton people didn't want me to walk through the lobby and get hurt. So. Uh, so there I was, sitting in uh, my room at the L.A. Hilton with plans of flying to Manila the next morning. That was my plan. You see, because I was going, I had made a commitment to myself that when I got to the Philippines, I wasn't staying in Manila, I went on to Dumaguete, uh, I, I was going to start eating well and exercising, you know, in a serious way. I was going to give it one more shot. And here I was in LAX Hilton, I couldn't walk. It wasn't a good idea to go to Manila the next day, so I stayed four nights at the LAX Hilton waiting for the swelling to go down where I could be a little bit more ambulatory. And then I flew to the Philippines and on to Dumaguete, uh, where I stayed at the Bricks Hotel and actually enjoyed myself. But the reason that I went, that I continued, because it would have been very easy for me, Buakau was sending me messages, come on home, we'll take care of you. And they would have. And I would have, and it was a very beguiling thought to fly back here and lie down and let. Boo and the family just take care of me and get fat and happy again. I don't know about the happy part, but I definitely would have gotten fat. And I made a commitment to myself, to nobody else other than myself. And I was like, you know, and I'm stubborn. It's part of my nature. And so that's, no, I'm going to the Philippines. Even if I'm still limping and I can't do all the things that I wanted to do, I'm going. Because I said I'm going. And I had already lost my flight. I had to rebook flights and it cost me a lot of money and all that other stuff. And I went. I went to, I went to Manila and then on to Dumaguete where I stayed at the Bricks Hotel for eight days and had a good time. But I had a very limited time because I still wasn't, in, you know, I was still limping. I, but I got off the ground zero a coffee shop where I wanted to go meet other YouTubers and I did all that. And, and it was an enjoyable time, but I was very careful about what I ate. Number one, because that's how you, Cure, that's how I cure my gout. I'm not a doctor. I don't want to tell you what to do. But uh, when I get these outbreaks, if I eat vegetarian, it goes away. I've had maybe five outbreaks in 12 years. And it's usually because I got stupid and ate stuff that I shouldn't eat. So I eat vegetarian, it goes away. And that's what I did when I was in Dumaguete. I ate well. And I still got up and made myself go out and have some activity. I couldn't do everything that I wanted to do. But I still did stuff. So I was out moving around, getting some exercise, and eating really well. By the time I got back here to Bangkok, I only stayed eight days. I, I had originally planned to stay up to a month, but that was open-ended. I hadn't made any commitments there. I stayed eight days. That's enough. I'll come back one day when I'm in, in better shape. And I came back here to Bangkok. I had lost 15 pounds. The four days in L.A. and the additional eight days in, in uh, Dumaguete, where I was eating very carefully and very little at that, plus I was still moving around and getting some exercise. I had lost 15 pounds. I get back into Bangkok, rest a day or two till the jet lag goes away, and started my yoga practice again. Guess what? Those back spasms that I just talked about were gone. Apparently they were related to the weight. I lost 15 pounds, the back spasms disappeared. And since that time in early February, I've been doing my yoga class four times a week and other stuff too, and I feel great it's because I kept a commitment. All that unforeseen material assistance that Gertha talked about popped up in my life simply because I kept a, uh, a commitment to myself. And other things have come out of that. I have started talking about these ways of of living these ways of being that 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 I'm uh, that, that I've applied in my life in the past, and I've been talking to you all about it as you know in this video, you know series of videos, and because I'm talking and thinking about it, I'm uh, reapplying them to my life, and it's working. I feel energized with more energy and more creativity. I'm getting new ideas. I'm staying fit. I'm doing things again. It's wonderful, and I'm applying that energy to what I'm doing here with my videos as well. So uh, you're going to see more of this. Uh, but that's the example that I wanted to tell you about commitment and how that, that rather, 
I don't know, what do we want to call it, pseudo-spiritual couplet of Garthas, uh, talking about all un manner of unforeseen incidences coming your way simply by making a commitment, the uh, providence getting on your side and providing you with stuff. It's a little half there woo-woo stuff, right? Yeah, well, guess what? I've had it happen. I just had it happen here, as I told you, and it's happened in the past as well. I'm going to keep talking about these ideas here, and I hope you keep listening. Thanks for watching.